Hey guys, it's Katie. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing the March mystery box from Expressions Vinyl and showing you guys a couple of projects that I used with the vinyl that's in this box. Okay guys, here we go. Let's open up this amazing package. Oh my gosh. So in your mystery box, you're going to get a package of HTV and a package of adhesive. At one time, I thought that the mystery box gave you options to just get one or the other. But when I looked on the website, I could only see the option for one mystery box where you're going to get both. So it's $39.99, um, not a month, every time that the mystery box comes out, which is not every month. And so you're going to get all this beautiful HTV. Look at that stuff. It's so pretty. Ofta, look at that. And look at that. Oh my gosh. It all coordinates so well together. And then it coordinates with the adhesive HTV as well, which I think is just awesome. And then you see that paper there. It tells you the name. It tells you the style. And it tells you how to cut it. Like what cut settings to use on your Cricut or your Silhouette. So that is super awesome. They do a lot of extra great work. Now, in addition to that, you're going to get some cut files and I'm going to be working with those cut files today. And I'm, I'm going to tell you guys later on in the video, my thoughts on the cut files. I don't want to get too crazy, but I want to be honest with you guys. Um, and the honesty is that for $39.99, the amount of vinyl that you get is awesome. The cut files are awesome. My beef is that they don't really work very well together. And you're going to see in this video that I am making them work. But when I got the mystery box, I thought, okay, what should I make? I need some ideas. Let's go check out the cut files. And I just didn't feel like they paired well together. They are all awesome individually. And like I said, I'm making it work for this video. Um, I did find some cut files, but I... I would probably say that would be the only con to this, and it's not even a really bad con. <laughs> so for this sign, um, I just had had this Dollar Tree banner sign in my stash for a long time. It had a little bit of glitter on it, and so I cleaned that off, and then I pulled out the... Um, the design, put it into my Cricut design space and kind of made it work. I did pick up um, a couple of the, like I cut out the yellow, or hello, not yellow, woofta. I cut out the hello in the silver etch vinyl too, because I thought maybe I should layer it to kind of give it some dimension, but I didn't really like that look. And so I'm just kind of trying to... Um, layer this together. Um, I just, I guess I probably should tell you guys that I don't feel like I'm a professional in any way. This is just how I do it. So maybe it helps you and maybe you're going, Katie, get your life together here. <laughs> and then I cut out the flowers separately because I didn't want to waste a whole bunch of vinyl by cutting them um, in the spacing that's correct or whatever. So this is what I'm doing. This is how I do my life. This is how I create. Just so if you're here watching, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> anyway, okay, so now I'm going to put this down. I don't know what happened to that little leaf up there in the corner. It kind of got, uh, I don't know. He was like trying to run away or something. So I'm just peeling off the flowers and not using the transfer tape just because they're small and tiny like that. And then boom. We've got a cute little sign. I really like this. I thought about adding some flowers to it, but with the flowers in the design itself, I don't know if that's a great idea. Stay tuned. I just wanted to take a minute to let you guys know that it's National Craft Month, and with that, I am relaunching my YouTube channel, and I'm also doing some weekly lives, so make sure you check out the links down below. Here on YouTube, Mondays are Maker Mondays, and then Fridays are Fun Fridays, and you can find the links to all my social media down below. Okay, let's do some HTV projects. So in addition to telling you the name and everything, it also is going to tell you the cut setting and then the press setting if you um, are using a easy press or a heat press, either one. So I'm weeding these out. Both of these files were in the, um, the cut files that they sent me today. I just had to add in some gold 
HTV of my own. Otherwise, everything else I tried to use from the mystery box. And how adorable did that little bunny turn out with the pattern HTV? Oh my gosh. I picked up these shirts. Um, I will leave a link to them down below so that you guys can find them. You do need to have a wholesale account to SNS Activewear. And I'm using my Cricut Easy Press to press these on. I want you guys to check out the disclaimer if you have any problems with me using the Easy Press. Otherwise, carry on <laughs> and enjoy today's project. I'm just super pumped about how these turned out and I can't wait to see them on the grandbabies. And I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video today and loved seeing something fun and different here on my channel. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and then make sure you check out the other fun videos that I've got going on here today and or this week, whatever. Anyway, I will see you guys again on Monday for Maker Monday. Thanks for joining me.